Drone warfare has long been part of the U.S. government's war on terror, and it's gotten ugly on more than one occasion. Killing people by these uh, drones, basically sitting on a screen and eliminating people, uh, dehumanizing them, treating them uh, uh, as if you know they are from some other planet, not giving them a basic right uh, of proving their innocence. I mean, it, it violates all norms of justice. On top of that, it's all classified, so leaking the methodology behind what human rights groups have called a method for extrajudicial executions can get you in a lot of trouble. For Daniel Hale, an NSA officer and now suspected whistleblower, that could mean up to 50 years in jail. That echoes Chelsea Manning's fate. She's just recently been released from jail for refusing to testify before a grand jury, but she could return soon as she's already got another subpoena. Now, to be fair, U.S. leaders have long talked about their deep conviction over civilian deaths. The architecture, the legal architecture uh, around the use of drone strikes uh, or other kinetic strikes wasn't as precise as it should have been, and there's no doubt that uh, civilians were killed that shouldn't have been. Uh, I think that over the last several years, we have worked very hard to avoid and prevent those kinds of uh, tragedies from taking place. Apparently, it was U.S. President Barack Obama who ordered the creation of a new missile device that would increase the precision and accuracy of these predator drone strikes and minimize civilian casualties. It's apparently called the Ninja Bomb. Now, it may be the Pentagon's worst-kept secret. They have not officially confirmed it, but so far, several military officials have said that it's being used. It's argued that the new missile might enhance the image of the United States and the countries that are already subject to U.S. military drone strike operations. Unlike a regular missile, it doesn't explode. Instead, it deploys six blades that fan out of its casing moments before impact. Blades are so sharp they can cut through vehicles and slice their target into pieces. So we've got blades slinging through the air in order to reduce civilian casualties. Sounds plausible enough. Apparently, the new ninja bomb has already been used in Iraq, Libya, Syria, Somalia, and Yemen. Now, the mastermind behind the suicide bombing on the USS Cole back in the year 2000 was apparently taken out by a ninja bomb in January, according to Pentagon reports. So, is this new missile the answer? Will it improve the image of the drone strike program in the eyes of the American public? What do you think of the drone strike program? I'm okay with it. I know nothing about it. It's pretty awful, actually. We have this thing now called a ninja bomb. Right? And what it is, is it, when it detonates, it sends blades through the air. And the idea is this will minimize civilian casualties. We can pick the terrorists we want to kill, send the ninja bomb, and fewer civilians will be killed. How will you know that the blades kill the terrorists and not the civilians? It doesn't seem like that you can target maybe specific people with that. It seems like you'll just s spread out a lot of, um, a lot of d damage. I think that sounds like a pretty good program then. Limit civilian casualties is a great idea. No, that's not happening. I think if, if somebody suggested that that, I, I don't think that is even real. I don't think it really uh, re will reduce civilian casualties. I think that this is a, a basically a propaganda weapon, if you want to put it that way, to make people feel that there's a kinder, gentler way of killing people when in fact this is still assassination which uh, violates international law and the uh, UN Declaration of Human Rights. I, I think this is uh, some way of trying to placate the public in the United States and probably even more so around the world. With the technology as it stands right now, uh, the kind of precision that they're talking about uh, is, is essentially impossible and the notion of assassination whether precise or generalized, it's still totally unacceptable.